Hello and welcome. It's Jilly Cube here in my experiment art lab day mode. I am just um, experimenting with the prism pour paints and doing a pseudo bloom. So what I'm doing is the prism pour paints. I've put equal parts into my little cups. So I've put, you know, 50% of the prism pour and 50% of that Joe Sonia's varnish and then stirring stirring really well so that was my um what i'm testing to see what kind of results i'll get on this little little brick canvas um and the paint that i've put as my base paint is the white house paint i think mine was just a low sheen house paint i don't like using house paint at all in pores but um they seem to use this to get a better result for the bloom and somebody had asked me to give the pseudo bloom another go so i'm just trying yeah i'm just doing it with um the different colors in the um prism pour paint so as you see i'm just layering willy-nilly and what i'll do is for the um actual i'm going to do a try a swipe on this one it's layering the um, Amsterdam black with Australian Floetrol is what's in that little container. So I'm putting it on my spatula. I'm just going to give it a swipe. The whole thing is set on my spinner so I can give it a spin out. Like I said, I'm experimenting with, I'm going to do a swipe or a blow and a swipe again. Just going to see what kind of results with mixing those prism pour 50 50 um the paint and joe sonia varnish so as you see i've got some beautiful cells in there so it is quite lovely but of course um i want to just keep experimenting and trying different things with it so i've put a little skewer through it to kind of wreck it a bit and um and then i'll give it a spin out and see how that um reacts to that if i get you know some half decent results i will definitely try on a bigger piece or it seems that you know most people do these bloom things on smaller on tiles or smaller canvases um i don't know if there's very many whoever knows anybody that's done the actual bloom on a large canvas as you probably all know, you can definitely um, get some high definition photos taken of your bloom effect or any effect that you do in your art and um, get them blown up to any size as long as it's a, a good high definition photo. So I'm, oh, I'm going there, look again, going over the whole lot with a swipe. I just want to take it, I'm just, you know, going going for it and trying these things. This is how all of us have found out whether things work or not or discovered new techniques. So don't like that white that it's left there. So I'm going to put some more of the um, prism pour. So that's, I haven't, I wasn't, I was just in the zone and I wasn't taking any notice myself because I wasn't talking to write down the colours. Um that I used on that particular day. So sorry about that, people. Now I'm gonna try giving it a blow with my mouth, which I'm not very good. As you see, there's there's nothing happening there. I can never seem to do these blows that the young girls do with these bloom effects. I, I'm not a good blower. I'm definitely not. So um, I'm still sort of fiddling with it and, and thinking what else I can try and then I actually decide that no this is just gonna um, not look very nice as it is so I'm scraping all the paint because I don't want to waste the paints that's on there I'm going to see if I can create anything with my little mud pile there of paint and um, you just never know do you so I just push on with it and see what I can do so I'm going to uh, do the same again with my little prism pour colors I'm just layering the um, prism pour paints in a puddles one by one 
I have no idea of the colour, like I said, so sorry. When I do a bigger piece, I will um, say each colour as I'm layering them. I have got some more of these paints left, so I will do another piece with it and um, tell you the colours. So that is the black Amsterdam paint mixed with Australian Floetrol. That's what they call the cell activator. And there you go. There's me blower. And that works so much more than me trying to blow it but and look at that look at the cells just pop out straight away on that so um i was very happy with that one and definitely tomorrow morning i'm going to try on a bigger canvas with the leftovers that i've got so watch out for my second one that i do and i'm going to try i'm definitely going to try and do it on a bigger canvas i don't see many of these on bigger canvases um, I don't personally, probably don't have enough time to go looking, looking, looking. But anyway, my little brick, I'm really happy with that, um, that one. And I do take some good um, photos of that, some close-up photos that I can definitely have prints of any part of that that you choose. So they're really nice too. Or you can um, load the... Um, options up for your viewers to get prints not that i have done that yet but hopefully it's in the pipeline that people can get prints but that's that's nice and what lots of the ladies are doing at present and guys is getting um you know items of clothing yoga pants and running shorts and tops or dresses made up out of the prints from their artwork which is another lovely option isn't it so there you go, my lovelies. I am just fiddling now. So that's my sort of little um, effort there on this little brick. And I hope you enjoyed it. I love it. But you just wait till you have a look at some of the um, big... See, you can get these nice big prints uh, sizes of your art and they work great. All right, my lovelies, until tomorrow, please take care and I will say cheerio, bye for now.